What's up guys, back with some other products and add-ons you guys can throw onto your Total Gym or Sliding Bench Trainer. Seems like I've been kind of doing a lot of these lately, just kind of messing around with different attachments. Uh, both of which these products I've been eyeing for some time. The first thing I'm gonna be talking about is this pair of Corka handles. It has a long lengthy description on Amazon. I'll show it to you guys here on the screen. And then I'll be talking briefly about these uh, smaller diameter plates that fit really good on your Total Gym, these Yes For All a pair of 10s and a pair of 20s. Now like the vast majority of all things I review guys, I'll make this an honest review. I paid for this uh, with my own money. It was not sent these products for free. Uh, so with that being said guys, if you wanna help support me and the channel and do more of these reviews like this, uh, definitely check out and click the link down below in the description box if you wanna check out any of these products and anything featured in this video. So before we get into this guys, again, sorry for all these reviews. I'm tempting you guys to waste and spend your money, but I do think attachments, like I've said many times, really add a lot of value to this equipment, really totally mixes things up. And these things are kind of no exception to that rule. Uh, first thing, Talking about these handles, I saw this for some time. I actually featured this in like my uh, Christmas wish list of some things I wanted to get. Uh, no, I didn't get these for Christmas, so I kind of waited to get these things now. Uh, in the description on Amazon, it comes like it shows a bunch of different pictures. I honestly wasn't sure what the hell I was even getting. Uh, so when I got these things, I was a little disappointed because I thought I was getting some more uh, bells and whistles. But it just comes with these handles. I think it's fairly priced, and from what I heard, I didn't know about the original product. This thing is actually a knockoff of something called these Prime handles, a little bit more expensive. People say that this is kind of same kind of durability. Again, I'm sorry if this had to be a knockoff product, but I wasn't aware of that until after I purchased it. But still, this is something that kind of works for you and it's cheaper. Um, I guess it's the nature of capitalism here, guys. But with that being said, when you guys are looking at it, unboxing it seems pretty sturdy, sturdy for the price of what you're paying for. I think this is uh, fair for what you're getting. The grips, everything feels really solid. The way it's kind of manufactured feels really good. Doesn't really feel like a cheap product at all. It seems like it's worth it. And the time I bought this, it seemed like it was a little kind of mini discount going on. Now, apparently these things have been around for a while. I didn't watch any preview video of how to use them. They kind of look interesting. I could see the use for doing kind of false grips and certainly holding this neutral grip for rowing. And while we just did a review talking about the fat grips, how you can do some things with grips to really improve your grip strength, I always find even in the gym when I used to kind of hold like a false grip or open neutral grip, even though my grip wouldn't be working as much, I would tend to feel it a lot more engaged on the given muscle, especially for things like this thing to really emphasize, things like pulling and rowing type movements for your back, and even some pressing movements. So when I threw these on, you can kind of mess them with, with a few different angles, but primarily you guys can see it kind of has this rotational effect that kind of suit whatever need you're kind of placing upon it. But more or less, you can see it kind of has this little ridge here, and you essentially want the palm of your hand to kind of rest more or less flush here, where your thumb is kind of rested on this little pad here. But I did some things, even when I adjusted it, you'll see for some overhead presses, where I was even holding it like this. And uh, to kind of cut to the chase, guys, I started to realize right away that this thing was really most useful for things for back, any kind of pulling, not so much for things like flies, pullovers, uh, any kind of a chest press. Doesn't really work out too well. It's a little cumbersome in the nature of the kind of the design. Uh, but with that being said, I will say I had one of the best back workouts or like back or lat pumps I've had in a long time given the way these things really engage them because of the grips. And that kind of, again, has to go through what I was saying at the start of the video, grips can really make a big difference. So primarily I found that I had a great back workout and I'll talk about this coupling with some extra external weights, which is why I kind of lumped these two things together in this video. Uh, just doing a lot of great neutral grip rows, uh, I did cross grip, you guys are gonna see all sorts of different angles. I would spend an extra 10 minutes, guys, in the video talking about little fine tuning things and the way it kind of fits you for certain exercises. But honestly, the most important thing is just kind of getting the palm flush in your hand. I actually would rotate different sides for the various angles to kind of see how that fit. But other than actual rows, I found this thing worked really, really good and I liked it a lot. Felt really comfortable and really engaged my shoulders in a different, unique way for these kind of seated high up on the glide board with the uh, shoulder presses. I should have started with the video and saying this, I would definitely recommend if you guys haven't already, I've talked about this many times, picking up those swivels that I kind of throw on here. This is gonna be greatly needed and greatly uh, useful if you guys pair those things together, especially with some extra extension. So I found really useful with these handles. I just did a kind of like a straight back workout in the beginning, just kind of going to town, had like an out of body, you know, lat experience with how engaged my lats felt, especially in that neutral grip and kind of holding in this false grip position. Uh, really engaged it in a very unique way that I was not used to. Again, it could have been along coupled with the uh, external weight, but you can see I'm jacking it up here on an incline as well. And then aside from all the different rows, again, the overhead pressing just felt really good, definitely unique. So I would say this thing kind of really shines. If you're someone who likes to do kind of different body parts, take a little bit kind of slower between sets and not feel like you want to superset between exercises, 
exercises, this is definitely a plus. If you're looking for a workout to really engage your lats, do a different kind of unique kind of stimulus or stress to your back, this is definitely worth the price in my opinion. It's not something I'm gonna use like often to kind of switch in and out because of supersetting, but definitely if I wanna get a good back workout for that day and kind of front load the workout with some back exercises or whatever, I'll definitely be throwing these things on. Definitely if you're someone who's doing like body part splits, these things are great. And then briefly, you guys know for some time that I've had the uh, large regular sized kind of 45 pound plates, I've got 25 pound plates. My initial reason for even buying those because I wanna interchange them and use them for my uh, dumbbells or barbells. Uh, but you know, the, obviously the smaller one inch diameters work really well. I've linked other brands that have been out there, but the Yes For All seem to be pretty affordable. They're really smooth, really like the coating. They don't seem like they're gonna chip. So I think they're really good quality in the way they're manufactured per the price, what you're getting. Again, I know a lot of you guys have actually used this same company and kind of recommended it to me. That's why I checked it out. I was only hesitant on actually buying them because I have, actually know my parents have a bunch of old set of these. So I, I kind of feel like kind of wasting my money because I could actually go back to my parents' house and pick those up. But regardless, I wanted to review these for you. I think they fit really well. The pair of 20s and the pair of 10s fit really good. They're great for kind of adding some extra little increments to certain to different exercises. I never had a pair of 10s for my total gym, so actually this actually worked out really well. And I actually find they fit really snug. They look really clean and fresh on the uh, total gym. I didn't even feel the need to actually even put on any extra clips because they kind of stayed on pretty good. And so when you kind of pair these two together, they're really a match made in heaven when you got some external weight plates and these uh, handles on here. Uh, at first, like I said, I, when I initially got these handles, I was a little bit kind of regretting it. And I'm like, ah, do, am I really gonna use these things that much? As the workout progressed, I definitely saw the value in kind of mixing up the grips and how it really engaged the lats. So if you're someone who wants to kind of mix things up a little bit, you got some extra money to spend, and especially you wanna work and kind of build the lats and do some extra back work, definitely go ahead and pick those things up. Those things are awesome. And then certainly if you're, if you're in the market for uh, some external weight plates, you got the external weight bar attachment. I think these yes for all weights are affordable, good price, and also, uh, really well made. So that's it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys like this kind of two part video. Any questions, comments, feedback, if you guys are using these products and have any uh, insight into them, definitely let me know. And if there's other products out there, you guys think that I would be beneficial for me to kind of incorporate and review for sure, please help me out and let me drop it down below and I will go ahead and pick those up. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.